Hi everyone, uh, this is Mohammed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, 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 drive the robot in the simulation using the keyboard or how to teleoperate it from the keyboard. Uh, so to get the uh, simulation started, uh, every time we launch, like we sorry, we start the a terminal, uh, we need to source uh, the uh, set up the bash file from the Catkin workspace. So we need to go to the CD uh, Catkin, and then we write this command: source Gazelle set up the bash. Then we hit enter. And if we open a new terminal, we basically need to do that in order to get our uh, ROS package path uh, correct correctly uh, set up for us. But what I want to tell you now, guys, is we can actually get this done for us, uh, you know, automatically uh, without typing it uh, every now and then. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close these terminals and open our uh, home uh, folder. And then I'm going to show the hidden files. And then I'm going to go to the bash RC file, double click on it, and then go to the bottom of this uh, file and write these three uh, you know uh, lines here these three lines uh, we set the ROS package path uh, so that we can find packages in our catkin uh, workspace right so I'll write these three uh, uh, lines here save and then close the file uh, so I don't need to keep the like uh, hidden file shown again so I'm gonna just gonna uh, disable this uh, uncheck this one uh, or actually close it then if every time I open the terminal and then I go or I write ROS CD I'll be taken by the show to our catkin uh, workspace right so uh, let's get back now to our uh, uh, simulation so I'm just going back to the home directory again so uh, I'm going to relaunch the same launch file we used in the previous video. Actually, this is the launch file we're going to use uh, uh, in all uh, of the videos. I'm gonna just going to hit enter. And we will get the gazebo and rviz started for us. Uh, and you will see that like Arvis started with the uh, default or the configuration he set in the previous uh, video. Okay, so I don't know why Gazebo is not uh, like responding. Mm. So may maybe I need to just to relaunch this launch file again. So I'm just going to kill, kill it, and just ignore this uh, error. Sorry about that. Okay, and we'll try to relaunch the same launch file again. Yeah, so this time it worked. That this happens sometimes. Okay, so here's our simulation in Gazebo. This is the robot, our robot in the simulated environment. And this is what we are visualizing in Arvis. So our robot and what its laser scanner is basically seeing. So what I want to do now, guys, is I want to get, uh, I want to be able to control this robot uh, from my keyboard, right? So I'm just gonna open a new terminal, a new terminal tab. So uh, in order to do that, I just hit Control Shift C to get this new tab uh, in the terminal open. In order to get the like, like in order to control the robot in the simulation from the keyboard, we uh, need to install a package called uh, just um, a teleop with keyboard. So I'm just going to paste the command that we need to provide here and then enter the password. So actually I have this uh, package already installed and uh, up to date on my uh, computer. So just just wanted to make sure that it's there. And then, in order to get it working, uh, we basically need to run its node. Uh, some so we're going to run the teleop fresh keyboard. And the teleop fresh fresh keyboard package, we're going to run the teleop 
the keyboard node right so when we run this node um, we will notice that the node output is basically the commands that allows us to uh, 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 control the robot either in the driving mode or the holonomic uh, mode uh, I mean sorry the differential mode or the holonomic mode uh, but when we try okay, uh, right, if we keep this terminal open and when we try to click on the keyboard to move this robot it actually is not responding and the reason for this guy is that uh, the topic that this uh, node is publishing to is not actually the exact same topic that the robot is subscribing to so if we open a new uh, tab in the terminal here and we write cross topic list and we just want to grab the cmd vel uh, commands or topics so the first cmd vel we see here this is the one that is provided by uh, the um, is the one that is provided by the Kelly uh, op list keyboard uh, node but the one that we actually uh, want to publish to is is actually uh, this one here Tom XLA uh, slash move slash CMD vel or actually this one here or this one here sorry this one here robot make base control CMD vel right uh, so if we can directly publish to any of these topics we will see our robot actually moving uh, in the simulation right so I'm um, just going to disable the node by hitting control C and I'll rerun it again and uh, what I need to do now is to change uh, the topic the, pop the, the topic the node is publishing to which is CMD Vel and then I'll change it to <coughs> the topic that we want uh, so let's try this topic here let's click on it and then copy and then paste and then paste it here oh so I have an extra splash here I'm just gonna remove it then I will hit enter and then so I'll leave this uh, terminal open and I'm going back to my keyboard and oh here you go so here's my uh, robot being controlled from my keyboard in the simulation um, yeah so I can increase the speed by hitting Q so if I keep hitting Q the robot will be f will move faster Q actually will increase uh, the speed of uh, that uh, like linear speed and the rotational speed of the robot and Z will reduce that so here it's reduced right so if I want to increase only the linear speed or decrease it, so I just have to press uh, W to increase it and X to decrease it, right? And uh, if I want to do this uh, with uh, or the same with the angular speed, I just I can uh, increase the speed and decrease it from the uh, E and C uh, buttons basically. So here I'm turning the robot, pressing E. So the robot keeps like turning like crazy and then C to slow it down so of course uh, what's happening here is, is exactly happening in uh, the gazebo uh, simulation here so uh, uh, just need to make sure that the Kelly op uh, node uh, uh, is like uh, ter terminal is active right so yeah so now I can move forward backwards uh, turn in place uh, and this is so far I'm using just the uh, a differential mode of the robot if I want to switch to the uh, uh, like a holonomic mode I simply need to uh, press and hold on sh the shift key right so if I press and hold on shift key then I press on L I'll go to right and if I press on K J I'll go to left so that's basically the holonomic uh, motion like we can move uh, sideways yeah so uh, yeah, and all these, you know, description of the keys are in the output of these uh, nodes. So yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.